talking about power resistors. And here you see an example of a power resistor. It is a, a wire wound power uh, resistor of 27 ohms. It can handle 7 watt. And well, it's a kind of very common power uh, resistor. Here, somewhat, some more in this box. And you can also see here that I have used here an automotive lamp that can also be used as such. And power resistors are often made, say, on a ceramic form because they can must be able to uh, dissipate heat, etc. etc. Uh, and of course such a lamp can dissipate heat very properly. They are often big here. This is a carbon uh, wound uh, resistor, power resistor of approximately uh, 3 watt out of the 1960s or so. And of course, lamps can also be used as a substitute for a power resistor. And here some other lamps. There are a few important things to tell. And uh, that is that uh, there are two laws. That's at first, of course, Ohm's law. And that is voltage is a, a current multiplied by resistance. And uh, uh, the other issue is the wattage. So that means how much energy, for instance, such a power uh, resistor can withstand. That's important. It must not get too hot, otherwise it will burn out. That depends on two things. I will lay the resistor down and that is the voltage drop here, parallel to the resistor in the circuit. So say we have here a, a wire going to the positive here. We have a wire going to the negative here. We have a load that could be everything. And then the, say we have the situation where a current is flowing here through the resistor and then it goes through the load and then it flows back. Could also be AC. As long as the resistor is not inductive, has no inductive properties, it will work purely as a resistance. And uh, all these resistors have a very low inductance and from my radio theory book I know that only above 300 megahertz the inductance of a normal uh, resistor, normal, normal carbon film resistor and such a carbon film resistor has a kind of winding here that say burnt in into the the house of that resistor, um, only above 300 megahertz uh, the inductive effect uh, could uh, be a problem. Anyway, whatever. So, current flowing through the resistor, through the load, that could be everything. Say, it's an electronic unit. Say it is an electronic unit here of whatever kind that also has a resistance of. Uh, I have to read it. Uh, this is 27 ohms, but 
let's say for the calculation that this is a 10 ohm resistor and that the load also is a 10 ohm resistor. In that situation and when we have here 12 volts a simple calculation can be made and I only want to give uh, to hold it very simple uh, 12 volt here say it's a battery it can uh, give out mm, the maximum current mm, say 10 ampere or so or 20 ampere then the current starts to flow here and what what is happening so the question is what is the heat that is developed here and the heat that is developed here and what is the maximum what is the current that will flow the current can be derived of Ohm's law. That means that and here we have 12 volt. 12 is the current multiplied by the resistance that's 10 ohm and here we have 10 ohm the resistance is 20 ohm. So the current that will flow will be approximately uh, say uh, for the simplicity we take 10 volt here say it's 10 volt here I'm not very handy in all these calculations and I don't have my calculator anyway it's only an example 10 volt here 10 ohm here 10 ohm here uh, 10 volts is 0 0.5 multiplied by 20. That means that the, the current that flows here is 500 milliampere. What does that mean for the, the power, say the, the heat that is dissipated in this uh, power resistor here, say the series resistor and the load. Let's not talk about the load. Say this is for instance an amplifier. Uh, only an example but anyway. Uh, talking about 10 volts here. The voltage drop in this case uh, we have two 10 ohm resistors. That means that the voltage of 10 volts divide, divides equally between this resistor and the load. So we have here 5 volts as voltage drop and we have here 5 volt as voltage drop. 5 volt, 5 volt here. So what is the wattage? What's the heat development? Is um, 5 volt what is well I have forgotten to tell that what is volt multiplied by ampere important of course uh, regarding this video and this is a very very basic video it's meant for beginners in electronics but uh, well, even when you have a lot of experience in electronics, uh, there could be you could make big, big differences anyway. The about the wattage in these uh, two resistors, both resistors have, are 10 ohms. The voltage is 10 volts, so we have a, di uh, a divide of 5 volts here and 5 volts here current that's flowing is 500 milliampere so 5 volt multiplied by 500 milliampere is uh, say half of 5 volt is 2.5 watt uh, 2.5 watt so in each resistor here 
in this series resistor, the power resistor, and the load, uh, 2.5 watt energy is dissipated. And uh, we are talking here about uh, um, uh, 7 watt resistor, so it will act approximately on half of its dissipation that it can handle. That means, in reality, it, uh, you, it will get quite warm. It will get warm. It will not get hot. It will get warm and you can surely uh, feel with your finger that it gets warm. Absolutely sure. When you do this experiment, uh, 10 volt here, uh, a 10 ohm resistor, Seven watts. Ten ohm resistor here. A uh, ten ohm resistor here as a kind of load. This could be, by the way, for instance, an amplifier, an audio amplifier. That's in fact not a, 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 a say the ideal situation because when the amplifier takes less current or more current, that will mean that the voltage here will move and the current will move in this circuit. But let's uh, go out of the situation that this is also a 10 ohm resistor, completely stable under all situations. We have this calculation. Anyway, I hope it was a little bit clear. It's a sloppy drawing, but uh, it's what you can expect. When you, when you are working with electronics and well it's a kind of real situation and of course you can do the calculation the same uh, when you take in account a, a voltage here of 20 volts the, the current will get much higher the voltage drop will change, the wattage, say the power dissipated inside such a, uh, a resistor will also go up very high and you can do simple calculations and well uh, when this is uh, 20, 20 volts perhaps it's possible, I don't calculate it now but anyway uh, it's possible that this uh, resistor gets extremely hot and with 30 volts I'm more or less absolutely sure that it will burn out. So there are always limitations and uh, say uh, limiting the current or dropping the voltage with the help of a resistor is very very old school uh, nowadays there are many, say, intelligent chips that can do the same job, but this is more or less old school Ohm's law and classic uh, electronics, electric laws that give a very, very good insight in the dissipation. And this also refers, when this is not a resistor, but it is a transistor or a field effect transistor, uh, the same problems can be found, uh, though uh, many semiconductors have a very low on resistance. Uh, in such a case the dissipation is not very high, could not be very high, could be not very high, that's what I mean. But anyway, thanks for watching, hope it was a little bit clear, classic old school radio. Theory.